Here we go. Tea, tea cakes. Jesus, tea cakes. Is it not a bit early for tea cakes? No, I've been up since half four. This is the middle of the bloody afternoon, do not you? Half four? <laughs> I was up at four. Of course, you enjoy a lie-in, don't you? <laughs> well, let's get them defoiled. Aye. Smashing. Laurel and Hardy. Hey? Oh, you never think of one without thinking of the other one, you know. Tea and tea cakes, Abbott and Costello. Oh, I have got you, aye. Charlie Chaplin. Aye. No. <laughs> What's this we're watching? Old Dogs and New Tricks, Channel 5. Aye. That's the show about the people that come out of retirement, isn't it? Aye, and the documentary filming crew. Film them. With a camera. For the telly. Mm hmm. You're this boy here. Pat Carson. He's 83. He started the business with his dad and he worked until he was 70. And he sold a lot and he's retired. But then he can't stick the retirement, so he starts a new business at 78. That's him at it five years. Making a fortune. Doing what? Pallets. Carson's pallets. Put money in that game? Apparently so, aye. That's to be admired, that age, eh, Jack. Still rolling up your sleeves at that age. 83. Who? Hey. Hey. How's that to be admired still working at that age? Well, because he's up and about his cell. He's no, he's no sitting about, vegetating. What's the matter with vegetating? <laughs> I've worked all my life to sit about vegetating if I wanted to. Listen to your cell. That's the attitude that'll have you in your box all the quicker. <laughs> Explain. Well, well, the brain, right? It's the most complex muscle in the body. Organ. Well, well it's an organ muscle, all right. <laughs> it needs activity. And that spurs the body on to get up, day stuff, get the blood pumping, live a long time. What do you want to live a long time for? What, to live to 95? For some young bastard to blow you out and just rip your pension right off you and then you're feeble and defenceless? You listen to me, Jack. Sit in the boot. That's rang. That's a, that's a waste of yourself. Oh, no, this fella here, as active as that, at 83, you've got to admire him. Oh, well, I'll just admire him as well, will I? Aye, here he comes, aye. Hello there, I'm May. Uh, what's his name again? Pat. Oh, aye. Hello, I'm Pat. I don't like sitting about. No, I'm better than that. And I'm much better than they two sitting about bastards, Jack and Victor. Because <laughs> I want to note my 83 year old pan in lifting old scalfy pallets. Aye. Oh, Pat. King Pat, the pallet prick. <laughs> aye, he is an asshole. <laughs> Imagine sitting doing the boozers with him, eh? I'll tell you another thing about pallets. I'm sorry, Pat, but no, you will not. Shut up, you prick. I've been in six months, worked to death. Like an old horse. Prick. Ah, he's a prick. Thank you. Ha ha. Ha ha. Thank you, dear. Gotcha. Rabu Karaka. Oh! By the way, Mina, keep an eye out for that wee Davy Turner bastard. I'm sure he's filling his pockets in here. <laughs> what am I thinking about? Forty casuals could come in here shouting and bawling and helping themselves, and you, Mina, would be none the wiser. I know what I'll do. I'll cut a couple of eye holes out in your paper, huh? That'll see if you're looking up from the bastard. <laughs> That's no like you, Mina. Usually you come back with something quick, with some slagging. Where's my slagging, Mina? Where's the verbal ping pong? Tera pra amar gaya. That's a pish comeback. It's too left field. What does that mean, your brother's deed? How's that funny? Eh, teri pen da phone si unne dasiya tera pra amar gaya. Three lager and a maduri and lemonade. Oh, maduri. <laughs> quirky, a quirky worky. It's no for me. It's him. Zaffy's nut. You'll be building the new flats, eh? Aye. 28 luxury apartments. Don't know about luxury. Rooms are tiny. Ah, but they're brand new. Like show homes with that new smell. Like when you buy a brand new car, eh? They'll make smashing homes for young couples just starting out. Buy me a pint, eh? Eh? 
Why not? Right, you can tell me about the new flats, eh? On you go. <laughs> uh, no. You're all right, Mum. <laughs> Spillage. Hello there. Pint of lager, please. First time in here, is it? Aye. Ice cream. Aye. Right. Mobile catering unit. What? Snack van? Fresh snacks. Oh. What about boots? Outside the building site over there. Luxury flats. Lots of bodies. The boys paid a visit earlier the day. Didn't you, Phyllis? Aye. You, bacon and tomato. That's right. You, rolling sausage. Aye. Enjoy it. Very much so. Very much so. <laughs> Roll fresh. <laughs> ah? Sausage cooked through. Cooked through? Ah? Good. <laughs> hey. What? Who he? I'm Vince. He used to be a manky bastard. Poisoned all the bars a few years back. Delayed a boat going to the Falklands. Never get out of it. Look at him do it. Immaculate. Every time he farts, he changes his drawers. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Aye. This glass is contaminated. Sorry? It's got lipstick on it. I'm rejecting it. All right. <laughs> Here we go now. No. <laughs> Hello. Hasty, hasty. It says here, Jack, that they didn't even have guns. They, they, they had to use sticks instead of guns. What'd you make of that? Jack. Jack! What are you doing? See, I knew I had these. <laughs> I bought them for the grand man's Christmas, you know. <laughs> he was angling for one of them Sony stations and all. You know, the computer games machines. Well, I seen the Huffy went in when I gave him these. <laughs> Just left a lion and great for weed bastard. What are they? Pads. Aye. You put them on your horns, then you throw the ball in the bus, sticks to it. It's good. <laughs> well, I can't imagine why the wee fellow was disappointed with that, Jackie. Eh? When there he was expecting a computer console that he could play with all day. And what'd you get him? Pads. <laughs> I would have flung them at you. Ha ha. What was you saying the other day we shouldn't be sitting about vegetating? I'm thinking to myself, aye, aye, Victor, aye, that's right, aye. Get the old blood pumping. Here, yeah, put one of them on, it's a good laugh. Quite a comfy fit, that. <laughs> right, you right? Right. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, who's that now? It's the Vid, Jack. The Vid? Oh, David. Oh, good, you're both here. This is a bit of a surprise seeing you at the door. Aye. Hold on. Isa, back inside. <laughs> inside now, Isa. <laughs> Shut the door. <laughs> Properly. <laughs> now, what can we do for you? I came to see Jack and I was coming to see you. I've got something to ask. Come in. Hey, ho. Want a cup of tea? No, thanks, Jack. Yeah, sit down. Thanks. Oh. Bads, what did you pay for these? Eh, uh, I don't know, about three quid. Nah, you were robbed. You should have said. I could have got to them for two quid. Oh, <laughs> well, there you go. So, uh I mean, look. It's just cardboard, velcro, a wee bit of webbing. There's nothing to them, really. Probably cost 30p to make and the rest is pure profit. This is where the real overheads are, though. Naveed, uh, what is it you're wanting up here? Oh, I, my brother's died. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Naveed. Uh, that's bit of bad news, isn't it? I'm going to be away a week. You see, my brother, he was the family idiot. I mean, we're talking about the guy who had all his money in Pardu when everybody else had theirs in Bangu. You know what I mean? <laughs> Aye, aye, aye. Aye, I, 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 I need to go over to tidy up his affairs. So, Jack, 
You told me you used to run a shop. Eh, eh, aye, I did, aye. Aye, my father's shop was a grocer's. Aye, well, I was thinking maybe you and Victor could run my shop for me. Eh, do you not want to just ask me to run it? That's a fantastic idea. No, Vaid, she's a lazy bastard and she'll ruin me. <laughs> she's coming with me. Jeez, oh, I don't know, it's been 30 odd years since I ran a shop, you know. And the till, I mean, how would I work the till? We have a 35 year old till. All right. <laughs> Stock. You'll only have to go to the cash and carry the buns. Still not so sure. Well, I don't know, Jack. I mean, what were we talking about earlier? Vegetating. All right, you're on. Oh, great. <laughs> That's a weight off my mind. Right, well, I'll make a cup of tea. That'll seal the deal. Lovely. Milk and two. Or did I mention I leave tonight? No, no, you mentioned that bit. I mean, we're working tomorrow. 5.45. <sighs> Hi, well. In at the deep end, eh? Good. To me. Christ. <laughs> Shite. Leave it to hide. Oh, Winston! Isa. You'll never guess. You're right, I probably will not. What are you like? I know. What am I like? What is it? Where are you going? Where am I going? I'm going to Navid's, OK? You're in for a surprise when you get there. Well, what would that be? Jack and Victor are running the show for Navid. He's away. Eh? You see, when I takes a phone call yesterday and it turns out that Navid's brother... Added on drivel. <laughs> Vince Gallagher, the poisoner of Clydeside. I don't know what you're talking about. Aye, you do. You used to run the canteen in Yara's and it was manky. Let me see now. What was it? Middle of winter. You've dished up stew. Everybody takes it. By the time the hooter went, you could have launched a Queen Mary on the amount of diarrhoea you caused that day, you fucking the manky bastard. Now, wait a minute. No, you wait a minute. 1,800 good men went down. Nine days I was at the game. He'd her the sink. Arse of the pan, both ends gone full tilt. Oh, I count to you and your ropey stew. I can still taste it. No, let me explain. And new here, here. And you've the cheek to still be in the food game. Right, stop there. Indeed, I will not. I'm going to trash you. I will not let you do the same to this generation as you did to mine. I'm going to call the health board. And what are you going to say, fatty? You've got nothing on me. My van's spotless. Look at my horns, they're mint it. OK, I made a mistake, I paid for it. No, I'm trying to do is turn a coin. I'm clean. I'm super clean, I'm the cleanest. You're the man to be bastard, look at you. You've got germs crawling all over you, I can smell them, I can see them. Oh, oh, oh. that psycho part of that is... You're a psycho. A clean psycho, I'll give you that, but a psycho nonetheless, you're going down. Where are you? Look up at the telly! <laughs> oh, aye. <laughs> no. Where are you? In the stock room. They're smashing. <laughs> oh, hello there now. <clears throat> Big loaf there. Where there's well, originals. Keep them myself, they're lovely. Pairs of that's uh, three pound fifty. Thank you. Ten in. <laughs> nice touch. Ten in. Very nice. There we are. Fifty pence is four. A pound's five. Five's ten. You manage that now. Thank you very much. All right then. See you bye. I'll get the door for you, my love. Do call again now. Oh, bravo, Victor, bravo. Oh, part of the job, Jacko, part of the job. Don't think I didn't know it was your counter technique. Oh, aye. That's good, yeah. <laughs> Listing the items as you place them into the bag. Oh, and asking if she'll manage, and the bag itself. No waiting to be asked for one. Classy. Uh, well, that's one of my pet hates, you see, having to beg for the bag, you know. <laughs> oh, there you are. Trench on the player special as well, please. <clears throat> Another pair. There you are, sir. Rosine, yo-yos, a magazine, big cocks. <laughs> Jesus, what's the called big cocks? Can't imagine. It. Jesus. 
Put it in the bag, Jack. Hey. <coughs> Uh, that's say uh, smashing. Uh, Ten pound sixty, please. Uh, do call again. Victor, would you like to get the door for the gentleman, please? Indeed, I would not. <laughs> Dirty bastard! What are you doing? Sitting in a picture at my head. I used to. Oh, Vincent, how you doing? I was in the clansman this morning for our 11.30 pint. Nobody knows what yous are. We're here. Aye, and who did I have to find that out for? Aiza. Aye, Aiza. You might have tell us. Oh, well, there's nothing to tell. Naveed's away and we're tending the shop for him. Aye, in the meantime, I'm hung out to dry. How? Well, nobody to go for a pint with or nobody to go to the library or, or the cafe or, or anything. Give something today. How are your references? <laughs> There's my references. We <laughs> saw today. Unfortunately, the two executive positions have been filled. However, there will be a requirement for a kind of store boy. <laughs> a general lackey, if you will. Oh, right. Well, what's needing done then? Oh, we can just as soon can your arse. Now you... <sighs> Jeez, oh. Half twelve and this place is stone deed. And? Well, you know why that is, don't you? How? You should be doing rolls in that. Hot food. Ah! Need a man for that. Fuck your arse. There's a building site round there full of hungry workies. Waste of time. Wait mm, a minute, you might be right, Victor. I mean, we've got all the stuff in here to make up rolls. And there's a frying pan in the back there, I know. Oh, I have got sausage, bacon, totty scones, all the good gear, too. I mean, we could make myself a couple of quid into the bargain, aye. Make Naveed a couple of quid, you mean? No, 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 no. Whatever we take, we just put the money in the till for it. And above that's profit, and that's surely yours. Aye, and besides, they'll be in for ginger and fags and sweeties that they wouldn't be in for anyway. Naveed will still get his cut. No, no, no. You can't go firing up a bloody frying pan in the middle of Naveed's shop. He's in India, for Christ's sake. He's hardly going to smell it. Ah, <laughs> oh, right, happy days. Right, Winston. Crack open a pack of bacon. Right. Get a block of lard that's in that shelf up there. Oh, lard, nae oil. Aye. I'll butter the rolls. Butter mine, nae marge. Well, once open that door, once we get cooking, it'll let the workies have a sniff at it, you know? Excuse me, sir. Enjoy your roll at all. Busiest lunch yet. It's a fickle thing, the customer, isn't it? Huh? Hard to keep their loyalties when they're presented with so many options. It's a consumer difference aside, I suppose. What are you talking about? Your business. One minute you're mob, next minute nobody wants to know you. What's going on? Oh, you'll not catch me gossiping. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what, Jack boy, that was the best day I've had in a long time. <laughs> Could be a solid graft. Oh, I feel about 16. <laughs> a couple of days ago, we're calling that part the pallet or the pricks of the day. <laughs> you look at his building an empire. <laughs> Man, I'm choking. <laughs> oh. Oh, good. You're here. Right. Where's my cut? Oh, aye. Right here, listen, right here. Now, uh, minus overheads, of course, were £126 sterling to the goods. Now, it needs to get half of that, of course. Mm -hmm. right. So that leaves us a three way split of £21 each. <laughs> Sweet. Nugget there. 
Of <laughs> course, you tapped me for 20 for your gas bill last week, so... Jeez, uh... a pound. <laughs> well, I wouldn't stick it in the puggy. No panic, we'll get you a pint. Ah, here they are. Donald and Ivana Trump. Up yours, Bobby. Three lager. Oh, we saw you slinking in for a roll this afternoon. Aye, yeah, indeed we did, aye. Right? Did you enjoy it? Yeah, it was OK, you know. A bit too much butter for me. I prefer the dry room, you know. Never did the dry room. I heard the customers kind of be rang in that right, lads. Oh, there we are. Yeah, Not even a bloody nudge. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> boys. Oh, here things are going like a bomb. The whole scheme's talking about you. Cut us in, eh? Oh, cut us in, eh? Well, eh, uh, aye, that's a cracking idea, Tom, aye. I say the more the merrier, eh? Aye, 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 welcome aboard. <laughs> Smashing! <laughs> <laughs> uh, aye, aye, it's a winning team, Tom. <laughs> oh, but wait a minute now, Jack. Too many executives would lead to a top heavy management structure. It's unsustainable. It'll lead to redundancies. Oh, aye, that's right, Victor. Oh, well. Well, Tom, you were last in, so you'll be first, do it. See the guy, now. <laughs> Well done, boys. <coughs> Business is booming. By all accounts, food's good day. Reasonably priced, comprehensive menu. Tasty. I might just wander by the mora and see what all the fuss is about. Don't listen to him. Who is he? Vince. He used to work at Yara's. He's a walloper. He runs that snack bar over by the building site. Hey, are we doing him out of business? Is that what he's pissed off at? Competition's healthy. Besides, he shouldn't be in business. Hey right, boys, see you again. That's the last of them away now, Victor. Thank God for that. Must have been busier than yesterday. Ah, uh, I could have been doing my Winston, I know that's. Well, it'll be nearly three years he's been at that cash and carry. Oh, lovely. To me. Right, come on, you two geezer horn. Oh, soup. Lovely. <laughs> Jesus, Winston, you went mental. Oh. What's all that stuff? A mega tub of tomato ketchup, pump action. Oh, well, that's a time saver, eh? Yeah, economical yeah. too. That's right. And there's one with brown sauce and another one of mustard. Mustard? For hot dogs. We're branching out, boys. Expanding. Oh, and let me present to you. Ooh, the tea cake. <laughs> that looks just like it. Well, I had to sink a right good few quid into it, you know, but you've got to speculate to accumulate. That thing will pay for itself in two days. Two days? It'll take two days to fill it. <laughs> Listen, lads. Give me my dividend now. I'm not really up for a pint tonight. I'm not feeling too clever. Ah, oh, shut up. You'll be fine. You're just tired. Hey, hey hello there. Uh, hello. <coughs> Where's Bobby? He's half sick. Oh. <laughs> have you, uh... I have. Hmm. Thanks for trying with Bobby. <coughs> quiet the night, boys. I like it quiet. <laughs> Well, feeling any better? No. My arse is red raw. <laughs> oh! Hi, sir. Well, anything? Oh, they poor boys. No. The building site's completely shut. Big padlock in the gate. The whole building site poisoned. I can't be for here. This place is spotless. I know it's bloody spotless. I've been cleaning it for 20 years. Oh, wait. Come here! What? What's this? What is this? This, Jack, is Wednesday morning at exactly 11.10 a.m. And what? <laughs> Keep watching. Huh? Oh. So he's doing. What's this? 
Bingo! No. no. Dirty, low life, stinking, smelly, skanky, slimy, manky pasta! <laughs> He's done it to me again! <laughs> there you go, enjoy that. What do you two want? Uh, don't start. Uh, we're here to make a piece. Oh, aye? Aye, we're, we're no longer in the catering business, Vince. We're finished. That's right. Uh, give you your due, uh, because we're too old for that game. I'm 72, you know. Aye, I'm 74. It's a, it's a young man's game. No, no, we're better off at it. Fine. Good day. Well, can we have two rolls and sausage, please? Two rolls and sausage? There we go. Yes, we have that. Well, they look lovely. Yes, indeed they do, uh -huh. Now, what do we owe you? It's on me. Oh, that's very kind, I. Uh. Well, good luck to you then, Vince. Mm -hmm. An egg roll and a cup of soup, mate. I don't get that. Oh, dear! There would appear to be a cockroach in my room. <laughs> that's bogging! Mm. That would make you sick, eh? Oh, there's oh. one in mine and all! <laughs> There's no cockroaches here. They planted them. They planted them. This fan's immaculate. That's for Yaris, you bastard. <laughs> With me now are the three men who were actually in the shop when the incident took place. A narrow escape. Yes, it was a narrow one. I, I was really a narrow one. Yeah. Can you tell us what happened? I, well, I had just come back from my brother's funeral in India. My two friends, Jack and Victor, were running the shop in my absence. I'd only been in the shop for less than a few moments when the crazy bastard drove through. <laughs> We can show you some CCTV footage. and is still at large. Do you have any idea who would do such a thing? No. No, uh, not at all. 